How to root in Phoenix GT10 Pro tilde using Magisk. Hello my dear friends. How are you today? I hope you are in the happiest condition and in good health today with you a new and very important video which is how to root in Phoenix GT10 Pro tilde using Magisk. I hope you like it. But before watching the video, subscribe to the channel so that you can receive everything that is new and exciting. And now let's follow the explanation. I will tell you how we can root our Infinix GT10 Pro. I'll show you the right way. You just have to follow the steps carefully. I have shown you the ways in which you can root your phone easily without any interruption. I'm telling you this because routing an Android phone is a complicated process. But you don't need to worry at all. Just follow the methods given below. And you will be able to route your Infinix GT10 Pro easily. What is the route? Routing an Android device refers to the process of obtaining administrative privileges or super user access to the Android operating system. By default, ordinary users have limited access to certain functions and directories in the system to ensure security and stability. When you root your device, you can take full control of the system. By routing your Infinix GT10 Pro, you can customize your device and access and modify files, settings, and apps that are usually limited to ordinary users. However, routing may void the warranty and put your device at risk if you are not careful during the process. Advantages or benefits of routing. Routing provides a lot of advantages. Let's discuss some of them. Performance enhancement. With root access, you can boost your device's performance by removing unused apps, optimizing CPU performance, and applying performance optimization tweaks, you can increase your device's performance. Access to full control. When you root your Android device, you have complete control over all of your phone's apps and system settings. This allows you to uninstall applications, access system files, and increase stability. Customization. Routing gives you access to any kind of customization, such as system mods, UI mods, and theme mods for your Android device. Increase battery health. You can maximize your device's battery health by using Ultra Power Saving Mode and installing a battery optimization app, which can boost battery health. Disadvantages or cons of routing. Routing has many advantages, but it also has some disadvantages. Let's discuss some of the negatives. Warranty Void. This is a huge risk. Routing your device voids your warranty. And if you are not careful in routing your device, your device may run into some risks. Software updates. After routing, your device will stop receiving official updates. So it is not getting the latest security updates and fixes. System issues. While routing, you may encounter system issues and technical issues with the device that may not be compatible with you. Breakdown risk. In this process, if something goes wrong, there is a risk of damaging your device. This can completely damage your device, and you may have to spend a lot to get it fixed. Initial requirements. Data backup. Back up your important data on your device before routing. Routing can potentially damage your device data, so it is important to stay safe. Check device version. Check the version and model number of your device carefully. It is important to know this to download the correct root method and files for your device. Battery charge. Your device's battery should be more than 70% charged that way. Your phone won't run out of battery in the process. Correct USB cable and drivers. Install the correct USB drivers for your device on your computer. 
and choose a genuine USB cable. This will help you connect your phone to your computer properly. Internet access. For routing, we may need internet access. Because you will need to download unlock tool and other things. Let's route in Phoenix GT10 Pro tilde using Magisk. Method 1. Using TWRP custom recovery. There are some simple ways to route in Phoenix GT10 Pro using TWRP custom recovery. Step 1. Unlock the bootloader. Enable developer option. First of all, open device settings. Go to about phone and tap on build number option a few times until developer mode is enabled. Activate the developer option. Go to settings and now select developer process. Now find and enable the options, OEM unlock, and, USB debugging. Enable flash tracking. OEM open. Boot the phone into bootloader mode to unlock the bootloader. Connect the phone to the computer using a USB cable. Type the command, fastboot OEM unlock, into the device. The bootloader on your Infinix GT10 Pro will now be unlocked. Step 2. Install and flash TWRP custom recovery. Download the file. First of all, go to the TWRP official website and download the TWRP recovery file for your phone. According to your phone's model and brand, the file can be a string or in IMG format. Boot your phone into bootloader mode. To enter bootloader mode, you can press and hold the power button and volume down button of your phone simultaneously. After that, you have to select the bootloader or fast boot option using the volume up, down button. Flashing TWRP recovery after you put your phone into fast boot mode. Use a USB cable and connect it to your computer. Recovery flash. Now, Open the flashing tool on your computer and select the TWRP recovery file of your phone. Select the appropriate option to flash the file and wait for the process to complete. Recovery will flash successfully. After that, you can restart your phone and enter TWRP recovery to backup and restore phone settings and system in text mode. If you are routing your device for the first time, you will need a TWRP installation guide. Step 3. Get the right Magisk zip. After completing the process of installing TWRP recovery on your phone, you are ready to flash Magisk files. In this part, you will get the latest version, which will give you root access without system right away. Download Magisk zip. You can grab the Magisk software and Magisk zip file from the previous section. And then follow the instructions to get unparalleled routing privileges. Step 4. Root in Phoenix GT10 Pro using Magisk zip. Let's say you have already downloaded a zip file archive. From the first step. Now we will move on to the Magisk flashing process. Here are some basic instructions from the user's guide. Start by booting the TWRP custom recovery. Click the install button and locate the Magisk file. Install button. Select a .zip file from the list shown to open the flash menu. Swipe right to start the flashing process. Swipe right. Restart the device when the flashing process is complete. And boom. Your device is now successfully routed. You can now enjoy the routing and customization features. Method 2. Using Fastboot and ADB. Go to settings greater than greater than about phone greater than greater than tap on build number several times until developer mode is enabled. Access developer option to enable USB debugging and OEM unlock. OEM open. Connect your smartphone to your computer or laptop using a USB cable. 
Open the Platform Tools folder and type CMD in the folder search bar. Poultice. A terminal window or command prompt will appear on the screen. Now type the first command, ADB Reboot Bootloader, to boot into the bootloader. ADB Reboot Bootloader. Finally, type the command, Fast Boot Reboot, to reboot the device. Fast Boot Flash Boot. You have now successfully rooted your Infinix GT10 Pro. How to uninstall Magisk on Infinix GT10 Pro. If you are not rooted or just not having fun, you can unroot your device again. And your phone will be back to normal without any hassle. There are some simple ways to unroot your device, which I will tell you below. Open the Magisk app on your device. Go to the Settings menu click three horizontal lines in the upper left corner. Then select Settings. Scroll down the list of settings and tap the Uninstall button. Uninstall Magisk. Follow the prompts to Uninstall Magisk and restore your device to its original non-rooted state. Complete the uninstall. Now Infinix GT10 Pro 5G has been rooted successfully. Frequently asked questions. FAQs. Q How strong is a rooted phone? The answer. A rooted phone gains significant power by allowing users to access and modify system files, enable advanced customization, and install powerful apps. However, this also exposes the device to potential security risks and voids the warranty. Use with caution and only if you understand the implications. Q. Can I cancel the root of my phone after the root process? The answer. Yes. You can unroot your phone after rooting. With proper methods, such as flashing official firmware or using non-rooted apps. You can reverse the routing process and restore your device to its original state. Q. Is routing legal in India? The answer. Routing may void device warranties and violate terms of service. But it is not explicitly illegal in India. Users should be aware of the potential and legitimate consequences of certain activities after their devices are routed. At the end of the video, I thank you for watching, I hope you liked it, and see you in a new video.